all right so as the next we're gonna learn how to clean up our data using the sql string functions in many cases if you are working with the big database you will have a lot of columns that includes values like text or characters we call it string and the data quality inside such a columns might be sometimes bad so you will be end up needing some functions in order to manipulate the structures of those values so in sql we have the following sql string functions we have the concate in order to connect two strings in one value the lower and upper in order to transfer the data to a lower case or to upper case trim if you have some white spaces at the start or at the ends of the value you could remove them the links in order to calculate the links of the character or of the value then we have the substring in order to return a sub part of the string all right so now we're gonna have some tasks in order to understand how to work with those string functions the first one it says list all customers name where the customer name is the combination between first name and last name in one column so let's try to do that so we need the list of all customers names we have here first name and we have as well the last name from customers so if i execute this query i will get the following so we have now a list of all customers names but now we didn't solve really the tasks because the task says we want to have customer name where the first name and the last name in one column and as you can see here we have it separated in the database so in order now to connect those two strings in one we're gonna use the function concat so let's see how we're gonna do that so we need the keyword concat open brackets and here we're gonna list the first column first name comma last name so i'm gonna remove those here and let's see the result so as you can see okay now we have the first name and the last name together in one column so if we want to separate them as well from each other we could use one more string i'm gonna put the minus between them so i'm now connecting three strings the first name minus this is from me and then the last name so let's check how it's gonna look like so as you can see maria minus kramer so with that we have like a list of all customers names with the first name and the last name on it but i just want to rename it as well to the customer name we make it smaller all right so let's Great that as you can see now we have a column called customer names and we have exactly the information that we need so if you want to connect like two strings or more strings you could use the functions concate so another task that might be okay i want all the first names to be in uppercase or in lowercase so let's see how we can do that so now we're gonna remove this and we're gonna now transfer the first name to uppercase so if I just query now the first name, you can see it is not uppercase. It starts with big M, then the rest are small. So in order to convert everything to uppercase, we're going to use the keyword or the function upper brackets, close it, and I'm going to rename it to upper first name. Let's run this. And as you can see now, all the names now with the upper case. You could do as well the same with the lower case. So I'm going to use now the functions lower. First name. As lower. First name. So let's run this. And as you can see now, I transfer the string from like the upper case to the lower case one more thing to notice here so any changes that now i'm doing in the query it will not update the content of the table that means the first name gonna stay like before that's maria with the first character m and there is small so now we are just changing or transforming the data at the result set that i'm getting as output so nothing gonna change on the table unless we do some updates we're gonna learn that later so now we are just transforming the data for our results okay so now let's talk about the trim this is interesting sometimes in the database you might find something like this 
like the name Maria and before that we have an empty space so someone before like entering the name Maria they entered white space before that it happens or at the end someone enters white space usually this is like bad data and we have to remove it so in order now to work with that in our query we could use the function trim so for the left one we call it the left space for the right one we call it the right space so in order to remove the left spaces from the name we could use the function l trim that means left trim and if you execute that this white space will be removed from the query from the results and if you have on the right side you have as well white space you could use another function that is called r trim that means right trim and if you execute that it's going to remove any white spaces at the end of the string and if you have the situation where you have both so either you're going to apply lift trim and right trim or you can use the function trim trim is going to remove both of the sides the lift trim and the right trim and you will not have at the result any white spaces at the string okay so now let's have some examples to learn about the trim so if you check our tutorial database you might already find out there is some white spaces around so if you check the table customers exactly in the last name you will find here some leading or some left white spaces so let's query that and check that select last name from customers so now if you check the results you might find okay there is here a left uh, left white space but i have here for you a tip in order to find all those white spaces that are hidden so for example we have as well at kramer as well white space but you cannot see it if you check the results so i would say just copy the value and put it at the editor so if i put it at the editor you could see there is uh, like a right white space and let's check all the values let's see steel is clean so there is no white spaces around and pips can remove those so pips has like a left white space and a right white space so we have to repair that now muller muller is safe we don't have white spaces around franken as well i think the same yeah we don't have white spaces so let's try to repair that we just gonna use the function trim so the keyword trim brackets as usual and i'm gonna call it clear clean last name so let's run the query and check the results so let's check kramer whether there is any white spaces around so as you can see it's clean let's have another example our pips as well clean so we don't have any left white spaces or right white spaces you could use the function trim in order to remove them okay so now let's move to the next function we have the length if you want to calculate how many characters do we have in one string you could use the length function for some reason if you want to calculate how many characters do we have the last name we could do it like this i'm just gonna extend our query to calculate that so in order to do that we're going to use the keyword length and inside it we're going to put the last name to calculate how many characters do we have there i'm just going to rename it to lin last name so let's run the query and you can see the database already calculated how many characters do we have in the last names so you might already noticed it is not really true because we have here Kramer it's only six characters but the database is showing seven and that's because we have white spaces so this is really nice way in order to find out whether there is white spaces or not so in order now to clean that you could like merge those two functions in one so I can put first the trim inside the length so first i'm cleaning the data and after that i want to calculate the length so in order to do that i'm gonna make a new column so first i'm gonna trim the last name and after that i'm gonna apply again another function length so i embedded two functions in one as let's say let's call it clean lin 
uh, it's getting long <laughs> name but anyway let's see the results and as you can see now we have the clean length of the last name so we have exactly here six five and as you can see here there is like two white spaces and those names don't have any white spaces because we have exactly the same number of characters okay so now let's move to the last string function that we have it is the fun one substring so let's say we have in the database the following name we have maria each character in the database has a position. For example, M is 1, A is 2, R is 3, and so on. And if I want in the query to subtract this name and I just want a part of it, I could use the function substring. So the substring has the following syntax. I need to define inside it the column name or the string, then the start position, and the length. So let's have the following example. If I say... I want to substring Maria, starting from two, and the length is three. So we have here two pointers. The first pointer is where to start. So we're gonna start with the position two. So it's gonna calculate one, two, and this is our starting position. And from this point, we're gonna like calculate three steps. So here we said three as a length or steps. So one, two, three. With that, we have like starting point and ending point for the substring. So if you execute this query over here, you will get as a resort array. Okay, so now let's have some live example. We're gonna like apply the same rule on the last name. So I'm gonna remove the old part over here. So I'm gonna write the same function. So substring. And we need to define now the column name. It's the last name. The starting position is two. The length or how many steps is three. So let's call it sub last name. And let's run this and see the results. So if we check the result now, we can see that we don't have the whole last name, but only a part of it because we define the substring on it. So instead of Kramer, we have only RAM. So it started with the position two and we cut three characters. So R A M from steel we started with T and we have E E all right everyone so that's all for this chapter we have learned many important SQL functions and now in the next chapter we will raise the level again by learning advanced topics in SQL and we will start with the group by clause and in the video description you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial the SQL sheet sheet and as well all the presentations thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial bye